Hi everyone. So today we will be, uh, you know, talking about contract lifecycle management training. So this will be a demo uh, provided by Mind Magics. So about the trainer, I have around 10 years of experience in the CPQ domain. I am currently working as a technical architect in the startup, uh, and I have around eight Salesforce certifications and five Aptus certifications. I have experience in delivering trainings in India and abroad. So I have a lot of experience in training and uh, you know, I've been associated with Mind Magics for more than three to four years now. And uh, so I take care of all the different modules of Aptus. So regarding, uh, you know, I also you know, uh, train on Salesforce CPQ as well. So all the Aptus modules, CPQ, C Aptus CPQ, Aptus CLM, Aptus Billing, and then the Salesforce CPQ and billing. So all of those topics are covered by me. So here specifically, we will top, be talking, talking about CLM. That will be the contract lifecycle management. So how contract lifecycle management, you know, comes into the picture in the whole code to cash domain. So we will be talking about uh, contract lifecycle management in the demo. So in the contract lifecycle management, uh, so these are the major pointers that will be available. Uh, so agreement administration, process maintenance, agreement creation, agreement rules and wizards, contract negotiation process, template administration, creating a template, using the playbook, basic redlining, smart fields, clauses, block assembly rules, compliance system properties, admin tab, retention policies, practice test, and interview questions. So all of these are uh, you know covered in the clm training and uh, the major part is you know the agreement administration where so in the agreement administration we talk about uh, you know how to do the administration you know, of clm so you know what are the uh, how to navigate inside the salesforce environment how to uh, go into the different objects which are there for clm We'll talk about that under administration process maintenance. What are the main, uh, you know, processes that are there inside uh, the CLM? So, you know, starting from say uh, opportunity, you create a code, you finalize it, then you go into create a contract out of it, and then from contract, what are the different processes? Like first, a sales rep, you know, uh, creates a contract, and then what all steps uh, are involved into the CLM process, that is the process maintenance. Then we have agreement creation, how the agreement can be created in, in CLM. So we'll talk about that. Then agreement rules and results. You know, what are the different types of agreement rules? How the rules are important in, that, uh, in CLM life cycle? And then we have agreement wizards. Agreement wizards are also you know, something that is a you know unique feature in Aptus. It utilizes the Salesforce flow functionality in the background, and it is a, also a very uh, you know utility tool for Aptus CLM. Then we have the contract negotiation process. Uh, the negotiation, how it happens in Aptus CLM, how uh, we negotiate with the customer, the sales rep, which is the major you know major involvement of uh, sales rep, is there in the whole contract negotiation process. He sends the agreement to the uh, customer. Then it, uh, there is a negotiation that happens with the ex, uh, you know, Aptus X author tool. And then all of that happens in the contract negotiation process. Then template administration, the template that is used to generate a agreement is something that comes under template administration. We have to you know, navigate through the different templates uh, and then that is there. In creating a template, how to different how to utilize the different templates, how to create the template, and using the playbook, the playbook which is there, uh, how you to utilize the playbook in Aptus CLM, the basic redlining, the redlining that happens inside the negotiation process, how to do that, uh, you know, all of all of the things about it. Then smart fields, what are smart fields, how they work, you know, that we'll talk about that. Then clauses, what are different types of clauses, then doc assembly rules, then we have what are the system properties, the settings that can, you know, uh, change the behavior of the Aptus out of the box CLM. We'll talk about that. Then comes the admin tab, the retention policies, 
practice test and then interview questions are something that uh, you know will be provided uh, just in case if you are looking for a job in uh, the CLM domain. So there are no additional add-on topics as of now, but uh, with the course, additional resources that you will get. So you'll get a student guide, you'll get an admin guide, and then you will also get some sample resumes uh, for, for the CLM. Then student guide will involve, you know, the hands-on exercises where you will be able to navigate into the Salesforce environment and do the hands-on exercises step by step. And those exercises will be helpful for you in your live project. So they are you know, very essential and they are something that, that you should have. And uh, you know, they will be there with you and uh, you can utilize uh, the guides in the future. Then we have admin guide. Admin guide is something that is uh, kind of a, you know, a guide which has all the product information. So all the details of the CLM product, what is an agreement, what are the different objects that are related, how these objects perform, you know, the definition, the prerequisites, the system requirements, you'll get everything in the admin guide. So the admin guide is also something that I'll be providing that is kind of a, you know, a book which will help you to refer anything that you're looking for in CLM. So like if you are navigating into the CLM environment and then you uh, come across a particular topic, which you are not aware of, then you just need to go to the admin guide, do a control F and find that specific topic in the admin guide. And then you will get to know about it. So it's kind of a dictionary for CLM where you can you know, find anything and just read the details about it. So you'll also get the admin guide, uh, which will be you know essential as well. So then comes the some, uh, project. The project is also something that you know, I will be providing that project will be based on the NDA and the SLA use cases like non-disclosure agreement and the service level agreement. So, you know, how we can create the different types of agreements and how we can utilize it based on our requirement that will be there in the CLM project. So the CLM project is uh, helpful because we have to uh, kind of whenever we are working in a live environment, so we need to relate, uh, like, you know, what are the requirements that the customer will give to us, right? What are the, how we have to ask the customer for the requirements. And once the business requirements, uh, you know, are there with us, then we, we need to map it with the technical solutions. So the, the project contains the requirements, which are kind of a functional requirements, which are, you know, in a layman's language, you know, any customer can, you know, give those type of requirements and then how we have to map it with the technical solution, uh, which we are building in, in uh, Aptus, we have to talk about all of that. So that is something which is there on the CLM project. And this is also something which will be helpful whenever you are working on a CLM related project. So the prerequisites, uh, you just need to understand the Salesforce uh, basics. And you know, system requirements is nothing but it's just you need an internet in your system to because it, this is something which is there on cloud. And so you just have to log in to the Salesforce uh, account, which is again the URL is login.salesforce.com. Uh, so you just have to log in to Salesforce and then you can utilize the Aptus system. You have uh, you know the admin Salesforce admin basics which are required. So you know you should know. Uh, you know, how to create the object, what are the uh, relationships that we have in uh, Salesforce, master detail relationships, or, you know, lookup relationships. So there are so many basics uh, that are there in Salesforce, the security model, what are the different profiles, you know, what are different types of users, what are the different, you know, uh, the objects, then, then comes the uh, validation rules, workflows, process builders, and you know flows, how they work in Salesforce, just the basics. If you know that will be additional advantage because once you have the Salesforce basics clear, then you know after understanding the Aptus product is easier because you are able because this Aptus product is based on you know the Salesforce itself. It's built on Force.com platform, so you know everything which is uh, built is using Salesforce. So Aptus is something which is you know, useful if you have, you know, a basic Salesforce 
knowledge. Uh, and if you have additional knowledge, that is, if you are a developer, that if you have Apex knowledge also, that is a cherry on the cake, then you will be able to, you know, do more of customization as well if needed. On top of the Aptus out of the box product, if there is any customization required, then you know, knowing development can you know give you an additional advantage to to do some customization also on on top of the product. However, you cannot modify the product. The mod product can only be modified based on the settings that are there. But you can you know create something custom customs like you know a custom object which is refer referring uh, you know any Aptus object. You can you know try to use that and then write a code on on your custom object or enhance the functionality uh, of that the product like uh, something that is being populated by the out of the box product then you can do you know uh, something with that value like for example if you are uh, updating the data on opportunity and then you need to utilize that opportunity data into something else so that you can do you, and you have a lot of different things that are possible in Salesforce admin. Uh, like we will talk about all of that in the Salesforce development related to Salesforce development and admin. Like if you know that, that is a prerequisite. Mock interviews. Uh, so after completion of the course, uh, you know, I might just take a mock interview if possible. And then, you know, that can help you to get a job and you can understand the knowledge gap. So ideally, if you know the product, if you are confident enough, I think you will be able to crack the job which are related to CNN. Then the certification. So Mind Magic's course completion certificate will be provided by the Mind Magic's team. But uh, you know, if any certificate related to Aptus, uh, Aptus is not available because that is uh, coming from the Aptus University. So if you uh, do the course from the Aptus University, then only you'll get that certificate from the Aptus company because it is the certification is not like the Salesforce certification where you can just pay $200 or $400 and then you can apply for the certification, you know, read about it and then you know get the certification with you. After certification does not work from that, uh, that way. So only the knowledge is sufficient for when it comes to certification. If you want to go for a certification, you'll have to reach out to the Aptus University. But again, Aptus University courses are very expensive and that is why mind magics is here to help uh, you uh, to get the knowledge and just don't care about the certificate because uh, the, the salesforce certifications have a value but after certifications do not have that much value because not everybody can afford the expensive certifications which are coming from the aptus university so it's better if you are confident about the product if you have the product knowledge you will be able to do the certification uh, like you'll be able to crack the interviews uh, i can also talk about like what are the different you know what will be how the environment will look like so this will be the envi environment and i'll be giving you access to uh, this environment and uh, here you will have a lot of different applications so the application that we are concerned about is the Aptus contract management. Okay, so Aptus contract management. This is our application. So in this application, you will have all the things related to contract management, agreement templates, dashboard reports, account contacts, cycle time groups, all of that. So agreement is something that we will be focusing on related to the Aptus contract management. So this uh, whole course is again based on the aptus module that is the aptus code to cache so this is the aptus code to cache module here you have uh, the you know uh, the whole aptus module that is it is coming from opportunity the code the contract and revenue so cpq clm and then billing so these three uh, different modules are available in aptus so you have uh, you know i give training on all of these three different modules but all of these topics are separate if you want to combine any three, any two topics like cpq clm clm billing 
or CPQ CLM billing, then all of these, uh, you know, you can get, uh, you know, get a get a quote from Mind Magic team, and they will give you uh, the details of it. So this is the quote to cash module. So every package which is there in Aptus is is available on the App Exchange uh, app, uh, like App Exchange platform. So if you go to Salesforce App Exchange. So this is the Salesforce App Exchange, and uh, here if you type in Aptus CLM, then comes the Conga CLM. Okay, so now the name is recently changed from Aptus to Conga. So uh, you know the Conga is uh, the new name for Aptus, and and then this is the package so you just have to click on get it now and then you uh, get this package into your environment so this is again a paid package so you cannot get a package for a single user uh, you know if you want to get the package uh, you have to contact clm uh, you know for the conga team and the minimum i think is for 50 users you have to get the license so it's not possible to get one license and that is why it is related to, you know, uh, it is related to the training. So in my training, you will get the environment, you know, you will be able to do the hands-on and then you will be able to learn uh, Conga CLM because this is something that is not possible to do it by, you know, by yourself. You'll have to uh, get help related to the environment. You cannot get a license or purchase license Seeing that it is just for thirty-five dollars, so maybe you can pay this thirty-five dollars and get a license. It's not possible. It is only for bulk users that the license is being given to a, uh, you know, to a company. So, but this is how you you know install the package. Go to the manage package, the app exchange app, and click on get it now, and then you uh, will be able to install this uh, application. Once this application is installed you will be able to see this inside your environment. So these are the major things related to the CLM. And, uh, you know, the CLM again is very popular in the market. So there are a lot of different applications which are uh, there, uh, you know, which are competitor of CLM. We have, uh, you know, other applications which are uh, working on this, like, uh, you know, the, so like the Conga is the main one. Uh, but again, after that, maybe, you know, DocuSign is also working towards it. And then there are different companies also, which are trying to get the CLM application and the platform. So that is where Conga is the leader. And, you know, once you are able to, you know, uh, take the training on CLM, it will be helpful for you uh, to get into the industry of like you know manufacturing industry or healthcare and lifestyle life sciences industry so mostly these are the two industries where the clm application is being used extensively and this will be something that will be useful when it comes to knowledge about contracts what are the different types of contracts and like you know the sow uh, statement of work nda non disclosure agreement then slas service level agreements and then RFPs, you know, request for proposals. So there are these are all different types of, you know, agreements that we have or the contracts that are there in the market. So these are definitely knowledge about creating these and working on these is very essential because you know these days these contracts are, uh, you know, always associated with a law of a country. So you know if you have experience on knowing the contract lifecycle management then it is easier for you to learn the different terminologies which are related to the clm so these all are tied with the code to cash model that i just said that uh, from opportunity we create a quote and then from quote we create a contract and then from contract we go into the billing life cycle so all of these are related and tied with each other some people don't use uh, CPQ and then they directly, you know, use CLM in the Salesforce environment and then they install the package and they, it is, you know, running out of the, the Salesforce objects. 
then sometimes some people use salesforce cpq and then they use after clm that combination is also possible some people are using velocity cpq and then using aptus or conga clm that is also possible so there are multiple permutation and combination that are there which are uh, available and those uh, things are uh, you know all related so once you start with the training like once you are uh, you know familiar with the clm term i would also encourage to you to take other trainings like aptus cpq and aptus billing as well because you know if you are growing in this uh, technical uh, domain so if you are a consultant if you are limited uh, to a specific project you need to create the knowledge uh, related to the project then it's fine but if you want an end to end uh, code to cash knowledge because if you are trying to become an architect down the line so you should have knowledge of the end to end you know scenario of salesforce or a code to cash because whenever you learn salesforce that all, that is also something that you learn end to end because salesforce starts from campaigns and then leads then leads are converted into account contact and opportunity then opportunity is flows into the code then contract and then billing and everything happen and then all of this information is passed on to the erps so erps are also something that is uh, you know the erp system can be sap or you know there are different platforms that are there so all end to end knowledge if you have then you will be able to easily talk about the whole code to cash module in an interview and uh, you will not be limited to learning clm so that is why i would encourage you to take other modules also if you are only if you have only learned clm that will not be sufficient for longer term so you should also uh, you know invest your time in learning cpq and billing of the aptus as well so i think that will be it thank you for attending the demo and uh, you can please share the feedback and contact us for any queries related to the course scope schedule references cost and payment options all of these will be provided by the mind magic team and uh, we'll be happy to answer those queries and these are the two numbers that are provided from india and us and the email is info@mindmagic.com